let's face it, this next subject is something we all want. Mm -hmm. White teeth and a beautiful, healthy smile. But because of genetics, age, illness, accident, countless other reasons, mm -hmm. not everybody has the smile they'd like to have. Today we're learning more about cosmetic dentistry and some of the amazing transformations that are possible. Everybody wants a beautiful smile, right? That's what brings us to the office of Dr. Betsy Bakeman. You're a cosmetic dentist. What are some of the reasons that people come to you? Well, Rachel, um, people come for all kinds of reasons. They might have a missing tooth, discolored teeth, small teeth, worn teeth, um, variety of reasons, but in general, they want their smile to look better. Yeah, and so there are a lot of different ways to achieve that. You have a beautiful office here. I know you're gonna give some advice of what to look for. So let's head in back and take a look around. Sounds great. Moving through your office here, I can't help but notice the gorgeous smiles. Are these actual patients of yours? Yes, all of them are patients in the practice. And, and we have lots more as well. We treat young people, um, you know, sort of my age. And, and uh, the oldest patient I've done veneers for was 86 years old. Wow. And well, you're never too old to have a wonderful <laughs> smile. Yeah, absolutely. And now we're in your lab. Yes. What happens here? Well, we get a lot of records, photographs, um, models, and that gives us an opportunity to design uh, new smiles, uh, really the, the art of dentistry part. Um, and I do that all in, in here, in the laboratory. Um, my staff mount up the models and get things ready for me, and then I go to work. Wow, that is so amazing. And we know that every patient is different. So every solution that you can possibly have for them, that must be different too. Absolutely, we use, we can do bonding for some patients, um, porcelain veneers uh, work or porcelain crowns. There are different types of porcelain. Um, we might use implants to replace missing teeth. Um, even uh, dentures and removable prosthetics can be beautiful um, if you design it with the patient's face and their smile, their lip architecture, with all of that in mind. Uh, this is a treatment room, and I cannot help but notice you have beautiful views here. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's really nice to have the gardens outside, and it helps people relax. There's not a single patient that doesn't sit down and say, it looks, it's, it's just beautiful. It's important for people to be able to relax and feel comfortable and in good space with, with people that they trust. We, mm -hmm. you know, have music for them to listen to, warm blankets, all those things that are going to, you know, make them feel comfortable. So when choosing a cosmetic dentist, what are some tips that you would recommend for people? Oh, it's, it's important um, because dentists, uh, when we're trained in dental school, we get the basics. And so it's important to go to a dentist that has an interest in cosmetic dentistry, um, has taken some continuing education. Um, it would be important for a patient to look at before and after photographs. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and also to check into their, their team, uh, the, the ceramists that might do ceramic work, um, oral surgeons, orthodontists, anyone else in the team that might be involved. Mm -hmm. And um, lastly, the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry has an accreditation program uh, where it's a test for cosmetic dentists, people that are interested in cosmetic dentistry, and it shows proficiency. And uh, there's no specialty in cosmetic dentistry, so lots of dentists practice it to some degree, but um, certainly there's different levels, and uh, if it just depends on what a patient needs, what their needs are. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for the information. We appreciate it. Thank you. This is truly an art, creating a beautiful smile. We're here at the offices of Dr. Betsy Bankman. Pretty impressive. Yeah, she that? is an amazing lady. I actually had, had a personal experience with Dr. Bakeman. My mm -hmm. daughter Jen, when she was in second grade, had an accident on a scooter. She broke off her front teeth. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Bakeman was uh, terrific, talking us through a consultation, showing us all of the great options. Jen's so young, we haven't had the permanent fix done yet. Right, yep. But it's really great that Dr. Bakeman can walk people through and seeing what is possible again. Because, you know, mm -hmm. she's in second grade, eight years old, thinking about the future. All I'm thinking is how how important a beautiful smile is. I cried for three days after the accident, even though she was fine. But you know, meeting with Dr. Bakeman just gave me a great sense as a mom of what would be possible and how mm -hmm. she would have a Hollywood smile as she grew. Yeah, that is very important. Yeah. Whole life ahead of her, Dr. Bakeman really takes cosmetic dentistry to the next level. I was struck by one thing, 
how natural her patient smiles are yes. because she has all those pictures on the wall. I told her that and she said, you know, that is the highest compliment that someone can give her. Mm -hmm. You know, what makes her very happy to hear. What I also learned is that some changes in technology are making cosmetic dentistry more affordable. And some of her patients have had work done in stages to offset some of those costs. Yeah, she is. She just has such a kind spirit. Mm -hmm. She's an artist, does beautiful work. She's not a, only an accredited member of the Acad American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. She's the only dentist in Michigan that has achieved the distinction of being an accredited fellow in the AACD. Her office, by the way, is so beautiful. It's located at 2757 Leonard in Grand Rapids, and you can check out her website as well, uh, mycosmeticdentist.com. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people want something like that. You know, take that first step, yeah, check it out, exactly. maybe have a meeting, and uh, see what the possibilities are. It is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Lots of 8 West straight ahead. Don't go away. We'll be right back. That's West.